It's Friday, November, ah, shoot, something. November 10th, 2017, about noon. I am at the entrance to Wind Cave, I think. It's closed, but um, I figure I can check out the entrance anyway. No harm, no foul. Anyway, we'll see what this little sign says. Yep, I was right, it's Wind Cave. I haven't been here in 20 years. All right, closed to the public year-round, protect the bat population. Oh, protect the cave. Oh, wow, it's even got a gate. Well, in that case, I'm gonna assume it's safe to go as close as the gate. I didn't bring a flashlight, so this won't be the prettiest video. Huh, looks like the other end of the transfer might be another cave. I didn't even bring a flashlight because I knew the cave was um, closed. Not really a point in bringing equipment for something that's not gonna happen. Anyway, let's see if I can find my way down there. Here's a spent shotgun shell. I'm not supposed to be shooting in here. This whole forest, this part of the forest, is no shooting. But I guess some people don't care. Hence the metal gate. Wow, these rocks are a little bit slippery. Yeah, this cave has a small skylight farther in, so. Um, it also is gated, by the way, in case you have any funny ideas. But anyway, so uh, the wind can go in one entrance and out the other. So that's why it has wind in it. It's a wind cave. A lot of caves only have one entrance, so you can't really get much airflow, except from the air pressure outside changing. Wow, I'm standing up. I got clearance above me. As you can see the ceiling, the roof is easily 10 feet thick, so it's pretty sturdy. And then of course the cave itself is like 20 foot high ceiling, tons of room. Oh boy. Wow. Yeah, maybe I should have brought a flashlight so I can shine it in there a bit. But Wow, notice how it's generally arch-shaped, but not very smooth. And the floor is totally covered in black, 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 breakdown, collapse rock. Interesting. I don't even see the gate, or, you know, the part you can actually open. I know, so, oh yeah, there it is right there. See, certain people, they have a key that they can get in there to explore. But, anyway. So uh, the cave is closed to the public, but obviously there's a way in for people who have a good reason. Unfortunately, fun is not a good reason. Interesting yellow shape there. Something growing in the rocks, and there was some vandalism on the rock, which is unfortunately why this cave had to be closed to the public. All right, well now I'm stuck down here. Got to get back up. Yeah, I wish I could read that one red sign. Somebody must have stolen it or something. Oh well, I'm sure it just says keep out. Anyway, so yeah, this cave used to be open to the public. It's almost a tourist attraction, but not anymore, obviously. I'm trying to see if there's a little metal sign. Yeah. Huh, yeah, I'm surprised there's no metal sign saying what the name of the cave is. Notice up here, the shape of the lava tells you that the cave, the lava flowed this way towards me from the southeast to the, no, southwest to the northeast. Interesting. All right, well, there's the entrance to Wind Cave. I'm uh, southeast of Bend, Oregon. I'm at the skylight entrance to Wind Cave. It's about noon on, what is it, Friday, November 10th, 2017. As you can see, the entrance is covered with a big metal cap, I guess you would call it, to keep trespassers out. 
the cave's closed to the public. Uh, not much to see from outside here. If you peek in there, you can see the ground is maybe 10 feet thick. You could try to work your way down, but then that last drop is another 20 feet at least. So good luck trying to get in and out of there. Even if the steel wasn't in the way, I wouldn't go in this way. The other entrance is much easier, but it too is gated. Yeah, you can see that ledge over there on the right, a few feet wide. I'd be too scared to even get that far down. And then, yeah, with this light, I can't actually see bottom here. But I'm pretty sure it's at least 20 feet down. I wonder if they sell ladders that big, tall, whatever, long. So there we are. Oops. With the steel grate in the way, I can't even see. That's why I got a nice small camera. I can stick it in places like this. <laughs> And here we are, now I'm on the south side looking north. You see there's a little bit of a slippery way down, about 10 feet to the ledge, and then I can see bottom here, see? On the rock, somebody vandalized it. That's why the cave is closed, people just do that stuff. The, the cave won't heal, it can't be repaired, so once it's gone, it's gone. So there we go. So there we are, that is the uh, wind hole or, of um, the skylight entrance of uh, Wind Cave near Bend, Oregon.